Welcome once again to Product One's technical web series. Um, we did a video last week which showcased uh, use cases of Creo simulation live inside uh, Creo 7.02. Uh, we're continuing from that point on. Uh, if you remember, this component was done inside Creo simulation live and the process was guided by the loads and constraints and that's how we got to this point. If you have not seen the last week's video, please check that out. So if you're a designer, you remember we, we said that you can go into Creo Simulation Live and in this instance, I'm doing the same thing that I did last week, but in the context of an assembly. As you can see, this is the same component. Loads and constraints are already there. So just to save time, I'm just going to quickly run this so that you get to see the results as well. So if you can see here, the results are exactly the same as what we had last week. So that means that as a designer, you now have full confidence in terms of this component will work. However, you still need to send it to an analyst for final validation. And this is what we're going to be covering today. We're going to cover what we call high fidelity analysis inside Creo 7.02. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this and open this uh, component on its own. So this is the part in question that now I need to send to an analyst. So what PDC and ANSYS uh, did as a result of their partnership was to come up with this, ANSYS simulation. So this is high fidelity analysis inside Creo 7.02. It uses the same engine as ANSYS Discovery and ANSYS Mechanica. So what this gives you is the power to do structural analysis. And if you can see here, all the loads and constraints that I've defined in my Creo simulation live, they get pulled through. And this is actually efficient in a sense that I do not have to go back and reassign these entities. All that I need to do now as an analyst is I can specify my mesh control, I can specify the sizes of my mesh if I see fit. So let's just pick the sizes of our elements, the element faces. You can even choose the type of elements that you want to have here. Once you generate the mesh, you will see that it starts what we call a process manager. What I love about this is as the process manager is still carrying on, I do not have to wait and wait for this to come up. This is a fairly small model, so it, it's a lot quicker, but I can open other models as well, keep on going while this is uh, busy if it's a fairly large model. Then I can also showcase my mesh, as you can see, this is how my mesh looks like. So I'm happy with this. I now need to run my uh, structural analysis inside Creo Simulation Live. One thing you will note though is the user interface it is fairly familiar to what you use to, or what you've seen with Creo Simulate. Now, all that I have to do is just run this analysis yet again, as this is running there, I can open a different model and do a couple of other things, maybe modify a part or whatever the case is. So this analysis, you can obviously open up the process manager and even see where it is. And as you can see, the results are done. Now that the results are done, I can say, show me these results. And just like that, I've got my Von Mises stress. You can choose the unit system in which you want these to be displayed in. You can specify probes. So if you want, let's say, uh, Von Mises stress at a particular area, let's say this area here, uh, it gives you an indication that it's not calculated. I can update these results, it will obviously update the value thereof. And that's the power of this. So apart from this, I can look at the displacement. Uh, and I can also define my own results as well. So if I want to specify a different contour plot uh, of, I don't know, let's say, let's pick von Mises stress. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate what we have because I just want to showcase something here. If you look on the model tree, you can see that it states that these results are now out of date because I've just created 
a different set of results. So let's just add one more item here. So what if I don't want to look at stress or displacement? However, I want to look at the reaction force. Uh, let's say reaction about Y and I'm going to say let's make it fixed. Now, if I update these results, you will see there at the bottom, there is a set of advanced results that the system has generated for me. So I can view my own von Mises stress and I can animate this. I can choose to use the slider to uh, speed up or slow down the animation. And I can also view my force as well and I can also change the unit. So that is, in a nutshell, ANSYS Simulation Live. It's a high fidelity analysis for the final validation stage in this. This does not, however, replace uh, Creo Simulate. What PDC is doing is they're constantly building functionality in terms of ANSYS Simulation Live. So what you can do with ANSYS Simulation Live is structural, thermal, and modal analysis. In terms of thermal, you can do steady state uh, thermal analysis at the moment. Transient thermal analysis that is probably going to come later on. This is not only limited to components. You can also do uh, substructures or sub-assemblies. So this is a sub-assembly inside ANSYS Simulation Live. So I can do a couple of things as well here. So in a in a nutshell, I can say I want to have a cylindrical constraint in this area and in that surface as well. So if you're familiar with cylindrical constraints, especially in Creo, you would, in Creo Simulate, you would have to create what we regard as a cylindrical coordinate system and reference that and so forth. So this is what you can do in terms of, of your substructures and of course as far as the meshing is concerned you can specify uh, whether you want speed over accuracy so that's basically it so you can refine your mesh and, uh, and so forth so what i am going to do with this uh, is i'm going to quickly run this because i want to showcase how quickly this is for a sub assembly so this takes about 40 seconds so let's get started just right on the money, it takes about 48 seconds to run that uh, complex substructure. And of course, you can view the mesh that uh, came out of this. And of course, you can look at your von Mises stress and you can look at the displacement. Let's say maybe displacement about Y. And that's the power of Creo Ensys uh, simulation. Now, you can do something that is even way complex than this, and that's the, the beauty of this. You can go as far as creating an entire uh, assembly. And of course, if you take this to ANSYS Simulation Live, there's my loads, there's my constraint. And what you can do here is, let's showcase our von Mises stress. And I can choose to say, the loads in this are very distracting me. So how about I modify the visuals here so I can choose to not have my loads and take those out. And that is a sub-assembly of this design. So last but not least, maybe let me do a contour plot of von Mises stress, but Instead of taking the entire sub-assembly, I'm just going to select just only the frame. So why am I doing this is just to show you how quick it is to go and fetch those results. So it does not actually rerun the analysis. It just goes and fetch the results that I've actually set up and I'll be able to display. Them. Good. Uh, now that we actually have these results, of course, now I can showcase those choose my unit system, and even choose to animate these. Right, here are the results. So if you can see here, I can choose now to hide all the other existing sub uh, structure, and I can now play this and look at how it animates, showcasing the weight of the engine, the fuel tank, and of course the rider. That is it uh, for this week.
Subscribe uh, and send comments and like the video as well. Until next time, goodbye.